So today let's talk about repairing the display card that has the SD card reader. In this case it's off my Prusa MK3S. Um, it started acting very intermittently with none of the cards. I don't have just one card. I have more than 10 different cards full of projects. And it didn't matter what SD card I plugged into this. It uh, was intermittent to get it to read that the SD card was there at all. And then sometimes maybe 8 to 10 hours into a long print, the machine would just stop and be done. Could no longer read the card. would lose the connection. So I did two things. One, I uh, ordered up just some new SD card sockets and I also ordered up a replacement board which is actually installed in the un in the printer right now and in both cases let's swing up here I just went online to like AliExpress you can go to any of those and uh, I ordered up just some replacement SD card things and I ordered up a whole replacement display board thing so you're like five dollars and 39 cents to replace the entire thing or a lot less than that to order just the SD cards but there are some things you have to know about well at least about the one they sent me which we'll talk about while we're removing it from the machine if I'm successful here if I'm successful in putting the new card thing on here and having it uh, hopefully look like it's going to work, we'll go in and look at the machine and take out the display card that I bought, which did work. I mean, for $5.39, I don't know how you could beat it. Like I say, it does have a few things you need to work on. So right now, uh, being old and having crappy eyesight, I don't really know how successful I'm going to be at trying to actually put this on and um, there won't be any close-ups for you unfortunately because I'm not going to be able to stare at the camera and what I'm doing here at the same time my plan is to uh, just tack um, tack a couple of these edges and then go for the pins another thing to note that's kind of interesting on these is all of the actual used pins for the functions on this machine everything is also brought out down here down below so I mean if you wanted to uh, not put this back onto the board and have it someplace else or even flip it over which is the way we'd all prefer it, instead of having to put our cards in upside down all that information is brought out here a person could just wire in a different SD card or reader or whatever you want off those pins anyway I desoldered the old one, removed it, and uh, now it's time to try and put put this new one on there. So I got to get this down where I can roughly see what the heck I'm doing. And like I say, the plan is to tin just a couple of the metal edges to kind of hold the thing in place. I'm going to start with just one because that way I can move it around should be just a smidgen over to the right if at all possible like that and let's uh, Lord knows if I can do this you guys can do it like that Oh, and the reason that I uh, put the replacement board in instead of this right away is these little socket things took uh, more than a, a week, almost two weeks longer to get here than the entire board. So I have been running on that uh, entire $5.39 board replacement for, uh, for almost two weeks. And that's printing every day and actually almost 24-7 I got projects going. And so I've been very happy with it once I uh, figured out the few uh, things that you have to do to make it work. Okay, I'm not really sure that there's anything for that one to solder to. 
Not sure about two of the connections. Got to bring in the big magnifier. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure about one of the connections. Don't know. Don't know about one of them. I'm going to touch it up again. So about all I could do <clears throat> is go slap it in the machine and see. The one that I'm kind of worried about in this case is clear down here on the end. These ones seemed very obvious, seemed to connect up, tacked all the corners. So, what the hey? Let's go in the other room and, uh, other room is where the printer is, so everybody hang on, you're going to be in transit. We're almost there. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put you, but I think maybe right here. So here's the printer. And I think the easiest way to uh, do this is to flip this thing on its side. But before I do that, i make a mess of everything. Too late. There must be a razor blade now stuck to the bottom of the uh, board somewhere. Because there were two in there and now I only see the one. Anywho. Is any of that in frame? Okay. So in my case, because I've got my drawer system that I put online years ago that fits in there, I can't easily get to the bolts just to release this entire thing. So I'm just going to uh, release the top cover. Let's take that card out. And just to uh, Just these two screws that we gotta take out, hex cap screws, and then I can lift the plastic cover off. I realize you probably can't see a darn thing except for an armpit or something. Sorry, don't have a separate camera operator here. And this part isn't really important anyway to be seen. Okay, so got the cover off. Now, the two uh, cable connections that you can see here, and here is the card we're going to be putting in. A couple of things you might notice that the card that they sent is a little bit different in that the actual display board does not protrude out, it's all within it. And the two cable connections, electronically, they go on exactly the same. You don't flip these around. But the plastic parts, the socket part of the plastic part, is notched wrong on theirs. It, it, had, it comes with the notches on the bottom side here. 
And if you were to flip these around to be on the bottom side, you would uh, short things out and cause a big problem. So what I'm trying to say is electronically, these go on exactly the same way they always do. You don't want to be flipping these around. But in order to put these on, you're going to have to add notches to the top side. Bust it out with your pliers, take a Dremel to it. I wouldn't uh, try and cut the notch off here. That's a lot harder than just uh, breaking in a new notch on the plastic on these. You're going, well, can I just lift the plastic off and turn the plastic around and put it on? No, actually, you can't. The pins fit so tightly into these plastic pieces that if you try to work them off, you'll end up yanking the pin and everything right off the board and destroy the board and ask me how I know. I uh, saw one go and was able to repair that hairline fracture again using all my magnifiers because it's some small stuff. Fixed it and put it in there and got to work. So I'm just saying electronically or electrically these connectors plug in exactly the same way as on the original board but the plastic piece around the socket that normally keys these is on backwards. So you're going to need, add, you're going to need to add a notch. The other thing that was uh, a bit of a problem on this is the trim pot, which is on the board, on the Brucey board, the trim pot, get it with some light shining on it, too much light, is, you can see is a service mount, very small one, but there is a place provided for a larger PC mount one. And this particular board came with the larger PC mount one. So in order to slide this board in, the uh, piece of plastic, that's that holds all this crap in place had to be notched so that uh, so that it would fit so let's see I'm trying to remember which way I slid this in there I think it was like that then uh, up it's been a little while since I've well two weeks since I did this here we go so here you can see what I'm talking about so the replacement board came with this taller trim pot rather than the surface mount one. So I had to notch the piece that this slid into to allow that to go. And here you can see where I had to uh, add the new notches. There were the factory notches on the wrong side. Like I say, you can't just pull the plastic off and turn it around. You risk yanking the pins right off the board and tearing those little, little bitty traces. Board worked great. Really a, a fantastic deal for the money as long as you are hip to the fact that uh, the socket isn't going to go in. All right, let's slide this puppy in and see whether I was successful in trying to repair this thing or not. And, and there we are. It is in. Put our connectors back on. that and you know what why don't we just electrically find out whether that it'll read the card before I bother to put any of this stuff back together let's just save ourselves some time so there we go and that. Let's get some power. Cross your fingers everyone. Like that. And hit the power switch. Lit up. That's good. That means it didn't blow up the supply or anything. Screen came up and shows everything we want to show. Move in closer. And let's put an SD card in, hopefully. Okay, I read it. There are all my files. Now I can tell you there's one other difference between this board and this board. And I, and I was sure there was, but I wanted to check it before I said anything. 
You notice now, in order to scroll down, I have to turn the knob up on the Prusa. It's always been backwards, always been annoying. This one, the encoder is actually wired the other way around. To scroll down, you actually turn the knob down, and it would scroll down. To scroll up, you actually turn the knob up. So, in many ways, I actually prefer this uh, five dollar and thirty some odd cent board to to this because I've always found this annoying to have things backwards. Now, the one thing that was uh, not backwards. Let's find out if it still is. Let's go to uh, maybe settings. Uh, move axis. Let's go to move um, X. Okay. So this part is right with the purse. If you want to move to the right, you turn the knob to the right. And if you want to move to the left, you turn to the left. That's good. On, uh, on this board, because everything was backwards, if you wanted to move in the manual mode, move X to the left, you turned it to the right. So obviously there's some, uh, there's still errors in the way the software is set up or the firmware reading in, of the machine where everything isn't quite logical. So I guess it just comes down to me just saying that the two encoders move opposite of each other. What this one used to do when you turned it to the right, this one does to when you turn to the left. No big deal. It's just that uh, I use the uh, card reader one a lot more than I ever use the manual position uh, of any of the other functions. So I kind of like this one a lot better because when you want to scroll down, you move it down. When you want to scroll up, you move it up. Very cool. All right, that was successful. Uh, very inexpensive repair, soldering that on. And uh, not bad having a, a backup. And like I say, this came much quicker than just the card thing. So a couple of ways you can fix your Prusa machine if the SD card socket has become intermittent like mine had.